Oh, school. This is Joe O'Connor. He's an average 13 year old boy who's interested in music. He lives in South Dublin, but has very few friends. He goes to St. John's Secondary School in Lucan. He's not the best at academics though, but he is a very nice person. Mm -hmm. Bye! Hey, loser. Ugh, they're always wondering. I don't care to do anything. Oh, hey, how's it going? This is Luke, Joe's best friend. They've been friends since play school. Luke is quite the opposite of Joe. He's popular and very smart. How's it going? It's okay, yeah. How's it going? Good, yeah. Morning, Elliot. Mark, did you find out what one plus one is? No. It's easy for you to say you're smart and you're confident. I don't understand anything they teach, and I'm the worst student here. Well, good morning, class. How are you all? How was it? How was it? Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, this is a really, really gloomy Monday. Okay, let me see if I can brighten you guys. I have actually two jokes prepared for the class. Usually, I do do more than that now for my other classes, but I'm sure these two will laugh over here. Uh, so, the first one: uh, How do trees get online? Well, how do trees get online, guys? Go. They log in, of course. Log in. No? Oh, okay. Well, there's more where this is coming from. Okay, give me another chance here. Um, okay. Uh, how about this? Why do ships in Norway have barcodes on their sides? Barcodes on their sides. Well, bad, no? Hear this, hear this. I'm sure you'll laugh at this. So when they come into port, they can scan the navia. Scan the navia. Scan the navia. No. 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 Okay. Mm, all right. All right. Okay. Let's get on with the class then. Uh, from last week, anyway, World War Two. That was our topic. Uh, so if I can ask you all to maybe open your books to page um, three hundred and sixty-five. I'm sure. Please, put the books forward and you sitting forward, of course. Yeah, you're all out there? Emily, I'm sure you know the answer to this from last week. Who was the Prime Minister of UK, the United Kingdom, for World War II? Um, Winston Churchill. Brilliant, excellent answer. Absolutely correct. And as we learned from the poster over here from last week, a similar question to Joe. When did World War II begin? Um, oh, I don't know. 18, 1839 BC. Just stupid, or I guess they're right. I'm sure you're not stupid at all. What about what can I do? Maybe you could turn to God for help. He's always there. Who's he? He's probably not even real. He's the one and only God. He's there for any time. You should try. Thanks for the advice. Bye. Oh, hey, Joe, how was school? 
but I'm did the school. They started bullying me again. Oh, really? Ah, uh, I'm sure there's a way around this, Joe. It's all right. It'll be okay. Okay. How are you, Joe? How is school? Not good. What happened? I didn't do well at the test and the kids, they made fun of me. Ah, don't worry. Don't upset yourself. Look, there's always a way to get out of it. Do you pray before your exams? Why would I even pray to God about it? He's the one that got me here in the first place. Trust him, Joe. He wants to help you. He wants to help me. Why hasn't he done that already? If you don't let him, he won't be able to help you. Look, read this Bible verse when you get a chance. Joe, why do you even come to school? You're going to lose the test anyways. Why do you care? I bet 20 30 that you're going to lose. Fine, you're on. <laughs> yeah, right. How's it going? It's no good. I'll never win that bet. I see. Maybe you should try turning to God for help, you know? God, he's not even real. Wait a minute. I'll actually read you something from the Bible. Well, this verse is from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for, and certain of what we do not see. What do you think of it? I don't know, man. Um, to that, I don't have to do with anything. Actually, it means that you have to put faith in God, man. Maybe let's just pray for a minute. That may help you. Okay. Let's just close our eyes. Oh Lord, please help Joe perform well at school. Please help him achieve his goal by winning the bet. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm late for geography. Got to go. See ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Good, yeah. Um, would you mind if I came to church with you? Sure. Thanks. I'm gonna hand out the papers now. Please not turn them. And no copying till for today. Well done, Joe. Congratulations on the results, by the way. Yeah. Great work, yeah? Well done. Yeah. I'm sure the Bible works as well. Just got a lucky, Joe. From then on, Joe becomes a smart, hard-working student. With the help of Luke, his family, and his new personal relationship with Jesus, 
he continues to shine the bright light. No, that's the audio, Didi. That's the audio. Don't know. They log it, of course. Okay, clear. Ready? Right. Three. Evelyn. <laughs> oh, yeah, Evelyn, sorry. <laughs> Come on, Evelyn. Lights, camera, action. You can, you're done now. You can, you can finish up. Lights, camera, action. Joe! Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. I, I, I need a read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can brighten this up. And. Pass, pass. You just got lucky. Lights, camera, action. Oh, how's it going? Yeah, it's good, but... <laughs> <laughs>